everyone. I'm here to talk to you today about an application I recently found out about known as Test Disk. This handy little application helps you recover information from a damaged hard drive, which can be obtained from here. All right. Now, a couple of nifty things about this application. One, it's multi platform. As you can see, it'll run in DOS, Windows, Linux, OS X, etc. And it doesn't actually require installation. All you have to do is download the zip or the tarball, as the case may be, unpack it, and then just run the executable. Now, I do have a damaged hard drive here, which I've plugged in now. And it's going to take a little bit to pop up the error. Yep, as you can see, it cannot mount the hard drive properly. But that's all right, we've got this tool. Now, I'm already in the directory that the application would be, and the application or file we're looking for is this test disk underscore static. And you do need root permissions in order to run this. So, sudo current directory test disk static. Now, I've already input my root password, and as you can see, it gives us kind of a menu-based command line interface. Now, I'm not going to create a log. We're not doing anything important. And there's the troubled hard drive right there. Go ahead and hit proceed. It does take a little bit, as you noticed. All right, now, as you can see here, it asks what kind of partition table it has. You can just go ahead and hit Intel, unless you do have a hard drive with one of the partition types listed below. All right, and then to recover information, just go ahead and go to Advanced File System Utils. This can take a few seconds as well. Alright, and there's the partition. Now go ahead and scroll over to list, and it will give you the directories of the hard drive. This takes a little bit as well. Alright, here's the file system of the damaged hard drive. I used to use this for storing virtual machines for my schoolwork, and it apparently had a bit of an issue. Now, I'm just going to go up to pictures, just copy some simple, small things for an example. All right, and there are two ways you can do it. Uh, as you notice below, uh, you use the colon to select a file, A to select all files, and Shift C to copy the selected files, or just press small C to copy the current file. All right, going to just select a few files as an example. So colon, 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 and then Shift C. Then it's going to ask where you want to put those files. Well, I've created a folder for recovered files. And 
and it does create a copy of the directory which as you can see pictures there from a previous attempt but I'm going to go ahead and put them in there and instead of hitting enter you hit C and to make sure that it did indeed copy those files open tab CD recovered if I can type properly LS All right, and just to make sure it is indeed working properly, small c, copy done, ls, vortex space dot jpeg. All right, and when you're done, you can just hit Q to exit out of all this. And there you have it. That is test disk. Now, of course, there are plenty of features that I did not go over. I just wanted to go over being able to copy damaged fi or files from a damaged hard drive, rather. And hopefully that will save you guys some trouble in the future if and when you suffer a faulty hard drive.